Welcome back to the channel and today I want to answer the age-old question of what happens if you build a plane with the worst possible aerodynamics. So typically if you take a plane here and you uh, you turn on the aerodynamics, you can see we get a lot of green arrows. Green arrows means efficient aerodynamics, but if I took a plane that has really good aerodynamics and I covered all of the green arrows with completely red arrows, how different would it be to fly the plane? So that's the plan for this episode. First, I'm gonna build a new plane that is, its purpose is to be like a, just a normal looking plane with really good aerodynamics. And then I'm just gonna make it absolutely terrible as far as aerodynamics goes. And we're gonna see how terrible does that make the flying experience in comparison. So like even starting off, choosing any cockpits that is like a normal, I mean, I pre all the seats pretty much, oh, that's a terrible seat. But uh, most of the seats have good aerodynamics, uh, except for this one. But uh, don't worry, We're, we still want it to look like a plane in its initial build. So let's focus on that first. I'm gonna lean towards the smaller end because that just means that there's gonna be less aerodynamic stuff to deal with. And I think I'm gonna go with like a fighter jet style of plane if I can. All right, fighter jet wings are just complicated as in trail makers. Translating a wing shape into something that makes sense is not easy for me. And I'm remembering that fighter jets are also not the most aerodynamically well balanced and uh, aren't the easiest thing to control. So it's not, it probably wasn't the best starting point, but visually I think it'll be interesting. I always do this. I forget to accommodate thrusters and then I don't have room for thrusters. So now I gotta figure out how to get enough thrust in this thing. All right, aerodynamics are looking all green. Uh, that's good. Do I even have enough thrust though to get up? Oh, I gotta, I gotta put my controls in first. All right, let's do a control check. Oh, those ailerons are not appropriately uh, input. All right, left, right looks good. Up, down looks good. I got front and back uh, it flaps for up and down for pitch. All right, so. Surprisingly, we actually fly really well. We do pitch up slightly if we're not doing nothing. Um, oh, okay. Pitching is... All the controls are very floaty. Especially roll is super floaty. Really slow and floaty. So let's make some adjustments. It flies fine though. I'm going to turn the steering help off and the speed up on the roll ailerons. And I think the front flaps are 30 degrees is way too much on the front flaps. I'm just going to go down to five degrees. All right. It is feeling a little bit more reasonable now. Uh, I feel like my belly is super flat and it looks weird. So I'm going to add a little bit of an actual like a belly to this thing. Yeah, I feel like that really kind of just rounds out the form. It makes it look a little bit better. And right, unfortunately, adding these gave one red aerodynamic, but it's a light red. It's like a pink. It's not a full red. So we're still good on aerodynamics. All right, let's take a look at some benchmarks. I only got two dragon thrusters on this thing. Um, but if I fly as straight as I can, it looks like I'm reaching a speed of about 200 and... Well, let's just like... What is it? 220 probably. Yeah, let's just say 220 miles per hour, 222, 223. All right, now let's do uh, some precision flying testing. Let's try to fly through a hoop of fire. All right, that was no problem. I think linking the two hoops of fire is more of a challenge. There's a little bit less time to correct in between. This is a really difficult uh, plane to control, to be honest. I think using flap wings for roll is a very bad idea compared to actual ailerons. I think ailerons are just a lot more responsive than flap wings. So I can definitely feel the floatiness with these things. But here, now we've gone over to the side of the island. Let's do a quick uh, U-turn. Oh, see, like, look at that. That was great. And then fly through this super fire. So, I mean, obviously I'm controllable. Capable of going 200 and something miles per hour, 222 miles per hour, and flying through hoops of fire, doing quick U-turns and all that stuff. So let's see if that, if I can retain this amount of controllability uh, with a terribly aerodynamically designed build. Also, let's paint this thing up to actually be more fighter jet colored, I guess. Okay, it is time to ruin this thing. 
Let's start taking all red aerodynamics and just block. I'm going to keep all the wings the same as they are, but I'm literally just going to block everything I can. Uh, see, this is actually kind of hard to do this part. I'm going to have to make some modifications here. All right, there we go. A lot of terrible aerodynamics back there. We've completed the tail. The tail is now terrible. All right, and then if I do this, 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 and then I just got to expand these out like this. Look at that. Ruined that wing. All right, ruined the other wing. Now we take this off. That's looking pretty bad, but it could look worse. It could definitely look worse. And there we go. So much worse. There's something fun about this. I don't know why. All right. Now, uh, this is pretty bad up here. We definitely need to make that worse. So here, I, I also want to kind of, I still want to keep a little bit of the aesthetic that we had. Look at that pointy nose. Oh, we actually need to go up. We don't need, we, yeah, we need bad aerodynamics up there too. All right. And then our last spot of good aerodynamics is down here. Let's just copy and paste this forward. And then, uh, yeah, we go like that, or I don't know. I'm trying to like shape this a little bit more. There we go. Here it is. Absolutely terrible aerodynamics now. Let's color it back up. All right, I want to spawn them in next to each other. All right, so here's the two planes. I mean, they look virtually the same. <laughs> but one has all green aerodynamics and one has all red aerodynamics. So, let's remember we were at 222 miles per hour. And uh, you saw how controllable we are. We have all the same controls, the same lift. Let's see how, let's see how this works now. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so slow. It is so slow. It's so slow. I, I feel like I'm just struggling here the whole time. I can't even break a hundred miles per hour. Look at this. I don't know what it, it, it feels like I'm going through like jello right now. The air feels so thick, but it's, it's, it's me. <laughs> All right, let's uh, try to fly through a hoop of fire. This is, this is oh, it's taking so long. I'm gonna try to do the same path I did. Honestly, I feel like this is kind of easier to control because we're slower. You know, when you go faster, you, it, it's, you gotta make more precise movements. When you're slower, you actually have a lot of room for error. Like this actually is not hard at all. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I say as I almost fly into a pillar that was very obvious and easy to avoid. Um, but it, I just have a lot of room for error. I have so much time to correct things. Like, look at this. All right, I'm just, I'm trying to get over to the other side of the island. It's just, it takes a really long time, okay? It literally takes more than double the time. I'm going ha less than half the speed of my other build, so it actually takes literally more than twice as much as time. I mean, more than twice as much time. All right, so I have to pass this hoop of fire, and then I got to do a complete 180. Let me at least, I need to climb to the altitude of this thing first. Like, I'm, it's hard to keep altitude with the speed. All right, so I went to about here, and then I was like, oh, let's do a big 180 to show the agility of this thing. This thing's going to do 180 no problem. Like, look at that. It's easy. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't exactly the results I was expecting, but it, now that I'm doing it, it just makes a lot of sense. I just thought, you know... We're gonna make it worse aerodynamically, so I figured it would just be worse all around, but it's just not worse in controllability. It's actually way easier to control just because of the, the nature of the aerodynamics and how slow it is. Oh yeah, I think I went back through. Oh, I went through, hold on. Uh, I, I went through one of those things. I gotta backtrack a little bit, my bad. We're doing even more with this thing. Okay, here we go. I think I went through this middle-ish one here. Oh. Actually, almost failed that. Well, I made it more complicated, too. Made it harder. All right, and then we go through the hoop of fire again. The one that has some green smoke in it. Why green? Why is the smoke green? I feel like it should be black smoke. And through the hoop of fire. I mean, it's not a great vehicle. But if you want a slow plane, it is easy to fly. And I even, I'm even coming in for a landing. I could have done a much softer landing than that. Here, let's get a refresher. Let's go back into the other one again. Just so we have that direct back-to-back -back comparison. Oh, look how fast it's already going. We already broke our speed. We broke our speed before we even uh, got off the runway. 
And we did a short takeoff too. This thing just, it looks good. It feels good. It just, I feel like I'm in a plane with this one. The other one doesn't feel like a plane. I kind of feel like I'm in like a glider on the other one. Are they, are, are they paragliders? The, the ones with the fan. But yeah, this thing flies nice. All right, do some precision flying here. Go through there. Go through here. Oh boy, I don't have that much control. Oh, I made a mistake. I have made a mistake. Ah, ah. You know, it was more durable than I expected. You know what? That's actually, that's a good one. Uh, let's try a crash test. All right, I'm just going to fly off of the carrier and crash into the first little piece of land over here. I feel like this one's going to actually be worse on the crash test. All right, so the whole thing got destroyed, of course. So this one might actually be more durable. It kind of looks more durable, doesn't it? <laughs> But I honestly think they're both just gonna get destroyed at whatever speeds we're working with here. And go. Okay. Turn towards the thing. And crash test. Wow, look at that. It's because of the speed. It's really not because of the build. If this thing was going 220 miles per hour into that, it probably would have still done the same exact thing as the other one. All right, well, this experiment was inspired by my Discord video ideas channel. Uh, it's not exactly what they requested, but they did specifically request terrible aerodynamics on a plane. And I just personally wanted to see what the difference would be. A one-to-one -one comparison between the exact same build with great and terrible aerodynamics, which by its nature is not the exact same build, but is close to the exact same build as we can get. And I have my answer. It's not surprising, but it's entertaining. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And if you did, you'll probably enjoy some more stuff you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.